worship the Lord. Glory to the name of Praise Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 God. Hallelujah. God. Awesome God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Worthy are you, Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Praise God. Praise Hallelujah. God. Worship, oh my soul. There is a higher place of praise. When my heart is overwhelmed, I lift my voice. There is a higher place of praise to destroy the yokes today. I choose to worship, worship all oh my. Oh, my soul, there is a higher place of praise. When my heart is overwhelmed, I lift my voice. There is a higher place of praise. To destroy the yokes today, I choose to worship. Worship all my soul. Worship him. Worship him. Give my God the glory. Come on in. Give my God the praise. Worship him. Jesus and I, we have a good thing going on. Oh, yeah. My Jesus and I, we have a good thing going on. Those 
Satan is on my track. I'll never, never turn back. But Jesus and I, we have a good thing going on. Put your hands together, everybody. But Jesus and I, we have a good thing going on.
Hallelujah. We invite Minister Alex at this time to come and he will be praying for us. Minister Alex. Amen. Let us pray. Father, we give you praise again, mighty God, this afternoon as we come once more in your midst. We lift you up, God, because we are acknowledging that you are the most high God. You are the King of kings, the Lord of lords. You are the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. You are the one who gave us the Holy Spirit who is our inheritance. The Holy Spirit who is our advantage. The Holy Spirit who is our down payment to the promise that you have in store for us. So even now, God, as we are back in your midst, mighty God, we know that your Holy Spirit is at work in us because the same power that raised Jesus from the dead is the same power that is at work in us. For your word, declare, God, that we are your workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good work. So, Father, as we come back to lift up your name, we decree and declare that your presence is with us us for great things to happen. So Lord, have your way even now as we depend on you in moving forward. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Minister Alex. Please be seated, brothers and sisters. Amen. We are out for a wonderful afternoon, a great afternoon. And the way things are, by 5.30, we should be out of here. Amen. If the Holy Spirit says otherwise, we will yield, but we will be working with 530. It is said that without vision, the people perish. That's a King James Version. But another translation says without vision, the people run wild. Without vision, the people run wild. And so today we want to commend our general overseer, yes, for creating a great slot in this convention so we can seek to highlight the, the, the Bible college of this institution, of this organization, and also seek to influence students to come on board and be a part of the end time harvest. So I say thank you, Bishop Ralston Cook. Let me move very quickly to extend the heart and the warm welcome to those who have stayed back. We know that most persons by this are agitating to leave. For the fact that you stayed, we will use wisdom not to keep you too long. Amen. So we say welcome, Bishop. Welcome, sir. All the pastors who stayed back and ministers, we say Welcome, and God bless you richly. I want to sing Lord Sister Lamar. Sister Lamar, the wife of Pastor Lamar. She was not mentioned this morning. Please stand, Sister Lamar, as we welcome you. Amen. Amen. And so in the year 1988, on the, the authority of Bishop James Clark, who got two prophecies, concerning the North Coast School of Ministries in 1988, September 12, to be specific, Reverend Wesley Henry launched out after Gilbert to start this Bible college. Then it was only our bishop, Bishop Ralston Coke, and Sister Audrey Graham, Beckford then, but Graham now, they were the first two students. Uh, when the school started, some time after, Reverend Newton Pottinger came along and he became the Dean of Students and see, he served this institution for many, many, over 25 years, Pastor Pottinger, 26 years. I want us to stand as we celebrate Pastor Newton and Tony Pottinger. Amen. Amen. For those who know Pastor Pottinger, he would say, you know, if you don't pen the, the kid, you will feel it 
in your care. And we celebrate you, sir, all of us who are here today, who have passed through the college. We are, we are eternally indebted to you. Let's clap him again, Pastor Pottinger. <laughs> is, is Mother Pottinger here? Is Mother Pottinger here on the outside? But she gave her husband full support. There goes Mother Pottinger. Please stand. Remain standing, Mother Pottinger. She gave her husband full support during those early years of the college. Pastor Pottinger would be in Colgate like 7 a.m. in the morning and sometime early to see the students who are attending early morning prayer meeting. Thank you, Mother Pottinger. Amen. Thank you. Put your hands together for, for her. The school continues over the years. Um, and we are eternally grateful to this organization and all stakeholders, inclusive of all the churches, all the pastors who have so supported this institution over the years. Just this morning, just this morning, Anderson Road, Anderson Road gave the school an envelope. And for somehow we forget to honor Anderson Road, but Anderson Road, every General Convention, there is an envelope for the Bible College. Let's celebrate. Where is Deacon? Amen. We say God bless you, Anderson Road, and all the churches who have continued to support this institution. When COVID hit us in um, the 19... Okay, good, you're here. 2019, 2020, we had to calibrate and we went online uh, with the college and we saw a great number of students being added to the college. The number multiplied by about two or three times during COVID-19. We had students in the Caribbean, we had students from England, we have students from America. So the reach of the college reached further during the year, during the COVID season. And so this evening, very quickly, I want to ask the staff members to stand um, as I recognize the current staff members who are online, ensuring that the college continues. Our own chairman, let me say, Bishop Cope, is a chairman for this college and is also a lecturer Please send Bishop Cook as we make you welcome. <laughs> Amen. Dr. Jasmine Rose. <laughs> District Bishop Carl Dyer. <laughs> He's on the outside. And uh, Reverend Dennis Richards, who is at home, but he has been with the college for many, many years. Let's celebrate Pastor Dennis Richards. I have behind me two noble ladies, and I say, here comes Pastor Dyer. God bless you, sir. Amen. Blessings. We have two noble ladies, that is Evangelist Nelson and Minister Facey. They have been relentless behind the scene in ensuring that the college remain viable and strong. I want us to celebrate Minister Face, who is the secretary, and Evangelist Nelson, who is a dean of studies. Come on, clap them and clap them, clap them, clap them. Beautiful, beautiful. So I'll be asking for two, two questions. So we're going to ask, we're going to ask all the current students to stand, those who are doing the online course to stand, wow, so we can recognize you. Please stand. <laughs> Sister Garrick, I did not say stand and sit, I said stand. <laughs> All right. Where is Mother Letts? Mother Letts is also a student. All right, so we have those that are here in the building, we have quite a number of students online, especially from Connecticut. We have quite a number of students from Connecticut. So we want to make them welcome. Let's put our hands together and make them welcome. Make them 
Welcome. With that said, all the students who have been to this noble institution, be it extension or full time, I'm going to ask you to stand. All the students, extension, full time. Wow. Wow. Come on, let's make them welcome. Amen and celebrate. God bless you. And this is just a tip of the iceberg. We have students who have gone to as far as Iraq, Germany, different parts of the world. And so we continue to celebrate um, those past students. And so at this time, we will be having a few testimonies. We call it testimonials. And then we'll have greetings from two of the staff members. And then we'll move into... Um, some presentation, and then we will do a little announcement about the college, the guest speaker, and we are through. Amen? So at this time, we have two students that are from Jamaica. Well, one is from Jamaica. Two are from Jamaica. One is from England. So at this time, they will be coming to give us their testi testimony or testimonials concerning this college that brother that you see doing the live streaming, that's Brother Bailey. He's a very, very good student. <laughs> a very good student. And Bishop Koch, Bishop Koch, we're saying in short order, we have to lay hands on these men. Amen? Amen. So please come, Brother Bailey. He's going to give us his testimony. District Overseer, Reverend Philip Davidson is also a past student, and he should have been here to give his testimonial. Amen. Let's clap, Brother Bailey, as he comes. A very, very good student. Yes. Greetings, people of God. Greetings to you all. I want to greet uh, our General Overseer, Bishop Ralston Cook, our Assistant General Overseer, Pastor Granville Cadlin, and our former General Overseer. And I also want to greet the host pastor of this noble assembly. Um, to be honest, standing here, I would feel a little bit nervous, you know? <laughs> But I'm happy though that Bishop had asked the past student to stand. So I have bucketive, you know, I have bucketive. And to be honest, the North Coast School of Ministries has been more than just an, an institution to me, right? It has been the people there, especially the teachers and the students, they have been more to me like a family. Believe me, they have been so helpful you know when you go to a school the teachers would normally put things on the board like work on the board and it seems as if you would just have to just study yourself they say they don't care right but with the teachers at the north coast school of ministries they care for you it's like they are your parents sometimes you wonder if if they would want to come to your help you to study <laughs> and at the Narco School of Ministries, believe me, if I ask persons here how they were able to, you know, understand the scriptures, most of them would say that it's because they have been to the North Coast School of Ministries why they were able to understand and even today are reading the scriptures more because the amount of assignment they get and you have to search the scriptures. <laughs> so you, you are able, you know, to understand even though they teach you how to understand the scriptures but because you have to do those assignments you have to search the scriptures yourself even if you never wanted to study you find yourself going through the scriptures going through the scriptures after a while you realize that you start to understand the scriptures without them after even you know giving you an assignment or so but i just want to say though i really appreciate being there and i i'm gonna say this that if any of you are here and you want to you know, study, theology, whatever. If you want to be a good leader, if you want to be able to decipher the scriptures and understand what they are saying. We are in convention 2024, and the team says that harvest is ripe, 
get involved, right? But we cannot be involved if we don't. If we, if it's a matter of fact, if you have the tools, right? You can have the tool, but you don't have the method. You can have the tool. You can say a person is a electrician and you can buy the hump meter. You can buy the tester, but you don't know how to use it. That doesn't mean you're an electrician, right? So it's the same thing if you have to get involved in preparing yourself so that God might call you, right? So I want to say to each of you, let us then study the scriptures. And at the Narco School of Ministries, it's the best place to do that. God bless you. I told you, I told you so. God bless you, Brother Bailey. Well said. The North Coast School of Ministries is a place where you ought to be so that you can be empowered theologically. I'm not saying district overseer, Reverend Davidson. I'm going to ask um, Brother Bailey to get um, the overseas testimonies ready. Are we ready? All right, so this is a student that is from England. You know that we are several hours apart. Sometimes when we're having classes, like 6 o'clock, it's like 12 o'clock there, 12 midnight. So tremendous sacrifice. So we have um, Sister Kennedy from England, London rather, England. Boyd Kennedy. I bring greetings Clapper, to Overseer Bishop Coke, his wife, First Lady Mother Coke, and family, Assistant Bishop Codlin, his wife, First Lady, Sister Codlin, and family, all the executive body of this noble institution. And last, but by no means least, my brothers and sisters in Christ and fellow theologians. As an international student of the North Coast School of Ministry, I cannot emphasize enough the transformative impact this experience has had, not only on my life, but also those I come in contact with on a daily basis. The rigorous academic curriculum combined with the nurturing community of faculty and fellow theologians has deepened my understanding of the scriptures and enriched my spiritual walk in ways I never could have imagined. The cultural diversity of my fellow theologians has broadened my worldview even more and has fostered lifelong friendships with people from different regions of the globe. This holistic approach to education at the North Coast School of Ministries has equipped me not only for ministry, but also for life, empowering me to be the light in the world wherever I go, as indicated in Matthew 5, 14 to 16. Myself, as well as my fellow theologians, are forever grateful for the invaluable lessons learned and the growth we all have experienced and continue to experience during our time at the North Coast School of Ministry. May God continue to uplift this noble institution and everyone who comes in contact with it. That was Sister Kennedy from England talking about the impact of this institution. We continue as they await the arrival of Pastor Davidson. We have two lecturers, Dr. Rose and uh, District Overseer Reverend C. Dyer. I'm going to invite Reverend Dyer and Dr. Rose to come to bring us greetings as lecturers of this noble college. <laughs> Dr. Rose. Come on, man, put your hands together for Dr. Jasmine Rose. These lecturers give so much and get so little. Good afternoon, everyone. Could you permit me to adopt the protocols that um, have been established? Um, I am a teacher, I'm a facilitator at the North Coast School of Ministries and Community Institute. I tell you, I, I had the distinct pleasure of being one of the first teachers um, for Pastor Overseer Ralston Coke back in those days. 
Praise God. I used to teach him the use of English. Now, I just want to say to all of you that my teaching at the North Coast School of Ministries, it was born out of a prophetic word that was given to me by Pastor Grant. And, and you didn't know that. Bet you didn't, Pastor. Yes, so he gave me a prophetic word, and that's helped to put, put me in, in the space that I occupy now. Just want all of you to know that this institution is one of the best, if not, uh, because I went to an institution, so I've got to guard saying that. It's one of the best Bible institution you can find. Our classes are very interactive. Our students are bright. And I'm always saying to pastor, they keep me on my heels. So remember now, the harvest is ripe. It is not overripe. So it means, therefore, your age group is found right there. So come on and let me get the opportunity to teach you and to be your facilitator. Let me see the hands of those who will be coming on board with us. Put your hands up. I see that hand. Wonderful. God bless you. May this institution continue to grow from strength to strength, in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Bishop, you're doing a great job as our principal. God bless you. Thank you. Greetings to all our um, bishops, co-coddling families, all pastors, ministers, all of God's precious people. I greet you in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God has been good to me. I received, uh, I think it was a telegram years ago from the Bible school. Please report for class, 3rd of September, 1990. And that was my first time at the Bible school when I reported that day. I saw Bishop Codling then was a young man, as I was a young man then. A lot of things have changed since that time. Doing a lot of things around the place, making shelves and so for the Bible school. And I thought to myself, so this is what Bible school is about. Working hard, making shelves, setting up books and all of that. But it has really been a life transforming experience for me. And one of the things I have learned in Bible school and... Over the years, I have been taught by experience that God is really calling for servant leaders. Not boss, not lords over God's heritage, but pastors and ministers and church leaders that will be servants of God and servants of his church. Amen? Amen. So those who are thinking about ministry... Don't think of it as a position of privilege, though there are some privileges that's associated with it, but it's really a calling to serve. And we serve God by serving people. So why is it important to enter Bible school? Why is it important to be trained? Those of us who come from the countryside and had some dry coconut in our backyard or bought it at the market but it wasn't shelled out it was you know in the shell have you ever tried to cut a dry coconut using a dull machete country people yes if the machete is dull it will be bouncing off the coconut and if you're not careful you become, you can get hurt. So, number one, because the machete is dull, it's hard work. Number two, it takes more time. And number three, it is dangerous. Think of that sharpening of the machete as the privilege of being trained in a theological Bible school institution. Bible school does not call you. God calls men and women. 
Bible school does not give you a gift. God gives people gift. But what Bible school does is the same work that the file does to the machete. It sharpens the machete to make the work more effective, make the worse, work less laborious, and also keeps you out of certain danger that's associated with ministry. Amen, somebody? So I hope that illustration helps to give people a better understanding as to the importance of Bible school. The mantra is training is vital to effective and efficient ministering. So I encourage those who sense the calling of God upon your life, and as you heard, there's no age limit. Answer the call. But it's also important that you take the step in the right direction to get further training in understanding the word of God and developing yourself and the ministry that God has given to you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Reverend Dyer and Dr. Rose. And I really want to express our appreciation to our lecturers. Um, brothers and sisters, what they get on a monthly basis is absolutely disgraceful. It's a work of love. And we are hoping because if the number of students increases, then we will be able to really put something more on the staff stipend, not salary, stipend. Let's put our hands together for our staff members again. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And I must make mention of Pastor Bishop Desmond Harvey. Please stand, Desmond Harvey. Now... Bishop Harvey has been supporting the institution for over 10 years. Over 10 years. Good Hope Missionary Church in the States. And we want them to know that we appreciate them and thank them for their service of love. Let's put our hands together. Pastor Bishop Harvey. Desmond Harvey. Desmond Harvey. Our sister standing on the platform. She has lost a phone. Yes, a black phone. A black phone with the letter M written in white and a lady in pink is on that phone. Is anyone see that phone? Please. If you see that phone, find that phone. This is church. This is nowhere else but church. So if you take it home, if you see it, if anybody has it in their possession and it's not theirs, it becomes a cursed object in your environment. So please, please, it's a black phone with... Um, the letter M written in white and uh, a lady in pink on it. Brothers and sisters, we are running on very quickly. The North Coast School of Ministries started in 1988. And the desire of the college is to see each student invested with the following. A working knowledge of the Bible, an endowment of the Holy Spirit, and a thorough knowledge of what, that, what this anointing can do through a yielded life. Hence, this institution seeks to, pro to produce spirit-filled leaders with a ministry with signs following. For all of us, this institution is accredited. It is an accredited institution. So as I speak, we, on a, we are on a drive for new student for the new academic year 2024 through to 2025. We have been online for the past two years and we want to get back into the building. Hence, the college will be providing half scholarship for all students who enroll for the full-time program for 2024 25 half scholarship so we really want to go back into the classroom and we don't have much money but what is there we're willing to spend it so that we can go back to face to face bishop coke if we have to start with two we are going back september with two students so half scholarship is in the making it is there already for any student want to come in full-time. 
We are also soliciting sponsors, persons who can sponsor students. I know I have one person who a year ago planned to sponsor a student. So that scholarship is still waiting. We want to go into the whole aspect of moving into an electronic library. So we will have our books, yes, but we will have the library, which will be online. We have already gotten one laptop from the Barclays, and they have a few more laptops. So we're going to furnish that library with about 20 computers. So we are soliciting computers and laptop for the North Coast School of Ministries. Amen. Amen, Amen brothers and sisters. Amen. Very quickly. So we are encouraging all district overseers, all pastors, all members. If you are called, if you sense a calling for ministry, enroll at the North Coast School of Ministries. We did it and we are still around, still creating impact. You know, so we are encouraging, we are seeking to not really force, but forge a way into going back face to face as it relates to. All right. As it, thank you, Pastor Pottinger. As it relates to going back full time. So come September, we will be going full time and then we'll start the evening section in Colgate. So those who can't come full will still remain online, but we'll still have the extension section with the day program. We are seeking to be very flexible to accommodate those who need training. Amen. 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 And so with that said, brothers and sisters, we have online application forms. Online application forms. And for those who need application forms, please speak to any one of us. and We will ensure that you get that for September. There are a few persons who indicated of which we are very, very excited. Somebody praise the name of the Lord God. Amen. And so as I seek to take my seat, we have our guest speaker who is Reverend Fabian Mullins, who hails from the Allison District of Churches, but is now laboring in Canada. He will be our guest speaker. But as a person who is trained, we need to understand the power of recent effect. Somebody say power of recent effect. So the last thing you hear is that you remember first. We know that, right? The last thing we hear is that we remember first. And leave in convention, we have a good word today, but I want him to be the last person so at least we can remember the spoken word. Amen? And then Bishop Cook will be coming to give vote of thanks. Somebody praise the name of Jesus. So the ministerial council, along with the Bible College, had a grief council training sometime this year. And uh, we are not going to be making the presentation to those who were, were a part of that training. And we, had a, we have a few more presentation, and we are asking that we be as very quickly as possible. Um, the preacher has 15 minutes. How many minutes? 15 minutes. So we have um, uh, limited time. So at this time, we'll be inviting those who are responsible to hand out the certificates to all those who participate in the grief counseling done by Pastor Williamson in the month of February, I think. Now is the time that we will be receiving our certificates. Those who have not paid, please remember, we are all Christians. So don't collect the certificate unless you give us the funds, right? Amen. So evangelist Nelson, Pastor Richards is still here. All right. Please come. Um, Let's go as quickly as we can. Let's put our hands together for Evangelist Nelson. Good afternoon to our bishop, our assistant bishop and their wives, all the leaders, saints, and the past and present students of the North Coast School of Ministries. I'm waiting on Pastor Kevin Richards. <clears throat> can we praise the Lord? Shall you just, just wave your hands and magnify the Lord? Hallelujah. I'm not seeing Pastor Richard, so I'm going to be asking 
Mother Codlin to come. And she's going to be handing out the certificates for me. Minister Facey, please help as well so that we can get it moving. Minister Facey? I'll come out. All right, so we have for the grief counseling certificates for those persons who participated in the grief counseling session, grief counseling training online, we have Bishop Ralston Coke. So please come and collect your certificates, sir. Put your hands together again for Bishop Coke. Bishop Granville Codlin. <laughs> Pastor Jean Ferron. I think she's in the office. Reverend Carl Dyer. Reverend Courtney Burke. Reverend Owen Morrison. Reverend Benford Daly. <laughs> Reverend Norman Craigie. <laughs> Reverend Delroy Cook. <laughs> Reverend Melanie Hall, she's in the office as well. Reverend Courtney Bur Jacobs. <laughs> Reverend Frederick Jeffrey. <laughs> Reverend Marvin Lemard. Sister Lemard, you want to come and collect your husband's certificate, please? So Reverend Carl Dyer is here. Reverend Nicola Maxwell Johnson, I'll just call the name. Some persons won't be here. Maybe somebody from Colgate could collect Reverend Johnson's certificate. Reverend Christopher Reynolds. Reverend Dennis Richards. I know Pastor Richards must be online somewhere on YouTube or Facebook just texting about the professors and the this and the that. So Pastor Richards, sir, we love you. Wish you were here, but you are not. So we just greet you today again. Reverend Tershata Russell. He's not here. Reverend Maxwell Slowly. Reverend Dorit Thomas. Reverend Sherwin Lindsay. <laughs> Reverend Th Pastor Thomas. She don't want to come. <laughs> Reverend Lindsay, yes. Reverend Alcott Williams. Reverend Kevin Richards. Let's put our hands together for the pastors who, you know, took the time to come to the training and it was good, very good presentation. So we have some ministers, Minister Dr. Jasmine Rose. Woo! <laughs> and you could just collect for Minister Steve Allen as well, Dr. Rose. Minister Joyce Allison, who is in the Cayman Islands. Minister Doreen Craigie. We have Minister Keisha Facey, but she's handing yeah, out. <laughs> Minister Gladys Grapine. Minister Alex Henry. <laughs> Minister Merlin Kidd. Minister Beatrice Higgins. Minister Ramoy Lemard. Put your hands together for the woman of God. Minister Sharon Minot. Minister Colleen Pennant Henry. Woo! 
Minister Maynard. Minister Maynard. Okay. Minister Tanya Rose. Minister Valerie Saunders. <laughs> Govanji. Minister Norma Sinclair. Put your hands together, please. Minister Donique Smith White. Evangelist Herma Burke. <laughs> and one is there for me, but I won't collect it. Mrs. Jennifer Daly. Oh, that's Pastor Craigie from Lucy. Minister, Miss, Mrs. Mrs. Jennifer Daly. Mrs. Rosabelle Hees. Mr. Levy Madden. Mr. Lo Mrs. Lorna Madden. Miss Joel Walker. Those are all the names for those who are to receive certificates. I'm going to ask Mother Colin to collect for... Um, Sister Joel Walker. Also, there's a certificate for Mother Kathleen. So I'm going to ask Sister Keish and her to just exchange positions so that they can get a photograph together. Put your hands together for Mother Kathleen, please. And Minister Facey. All right, so that is the end of the presentations for the grief counseling. I'm going to ask Bishop Desmond Harvey to come. He has been, and I heard Pastor Cardin mention it, he has been such a great supporter of the North Coast School of Ministries. And I'm going to ask Mother Cardin and Bishop, Bishop Cardin to present it. Okay. Pastor Cardin. And also, there is a plaque here for Dr. Denton and Mr. Denton for outstanding contributions to the North Coast School of Ministry. So I'm going to ask Bishop to come again, and Bishop Cook is going to be collecting this one. And I say blessings to you, everyone, and enjoy the rest of your evening. Brothers and sisters, please join us in standing as we make welcome Pastor Fabian Mullings. Come on, put your hands together for the servant of God. Fifteen minutes. Uh, let me just take the time just to greet Bishop uh, Cook, Bishop Codlin, all the other pastors and ministers on the forum. Amen. Let me also salute all the past and present Bible school students. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Also greet the uh, Mrs. Universe and the prophets. They're watching when I was leaving. They said that they're going to see Daddy on the TV. So Daddy's on the TV now. Amen. Uh, there has been so much that has been said uh, during the course of this week. Uh, uh, so much, so much that has been said. So I'm not here to preach. I'm just here to share for just a few minutes. The harvest is what? The laborers are. And we need to do what? We need to get involved. So praise the name of the Lord. So as the harvest is ripe, the laborers are few and we need to get involved. What the biblical significance of the harvest you see a symbolic meaning of a harvest in scripture compassing two cryptic, 
critical areas. God's provision for us and God's blessings for others. While we celebrate the harvest season just one time a year, we experience, brothers and sisters, a spirit of harvest at all time. And when I say we maintain a spirit of harvest at all time, the seasonal harvest that works in the world or in the secular world, it does not work in the church system because the word of the Lord tells us, brothers and sisters, that we should speak the word of the Lord in season and out of season that we should be instant. Praise the name of the Lord. So as we look at this harvest, brothers and sisters, it is now time that the people of God get ourselves committed. We realize that the outer world, brothers and sisters, commit themselves to their jobs and whatsoever they are doing. But we realize that as us as children of God, so many times we realize that we are not committed. But I'm calling the church of the living God uh, back to commitment uh, when you are committed brothers and sisters uh, it doesn't matter what the world say uh, about you you are going to continue to press forward uh, the word of the Lord declared forward still uh, it's Jehovah's will uh, though the billows dash and spray but with a conquering train uh, we will push ahead uh, when I talk about getting involved uh, the church of the living God uh, we need to push aside brothers and sisters the favoritism and partiality because when it is that favoritism and partiality come in we realize that some people that are supposed to be reached they are not reached but it's no time that the church get back to our core position which is reaching the lost Lord God, I feel like I'm going to preach, but I'm not preaching. Praise the name of the Lord. So if we are going to harvest brothers and sisters, we must be prepared mentally. And when I talk about prepared mentally, brothers and sisters, we must get ourselves clued in the likeness and in the image of God. Can I slow down two minutes? I almost get in trouble just before I got here at work because of Ramadan. And one of my counterparts was saying to me, Oh, Fabian, I am going to try and be good for this month. So this month I'm going to be on fasting. But as soon as the break is up, should go outside and should I take a draw of a cigarette. Praise the name of the Lord. There was a guy, brothers and sisters, in the workplace that she liked. She said, Fabian, me have my boyfriend, but me just want some work fun. But she was on fasting. Praise the name of the Lord. And she told me, or told the managers that I offended her. So they called me aside and said, look here, do not say anything to this one. But I say to her, brothers and sisters, that what you see in Fabian, I'm not trying to be good at this particular month, but I'm going to be good at all times because in this harvest season you have to let the world know that it's not a season but as children of God we have to live a committed and a dedicated life every day yeah. praise the name of the Lord somebody praise him so when I talk about brothers and sisters the harvest is ripe the labors are a few Gone are the days, brothers and sisters, but not only straight nose, uh, 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 straight hair, and brown in, uh, used to work in a bank, uh, but we realize, brothers and sisters, uh, that there is a change uh, that is happening uh, because people realize that the landscape uh, of this nature or this world uh, is changing. So the church of the living God, we must realize that we are living in a changing world. Uh, and if the world is changing, uh, the church of the living God, uh, must seek for strategies uh, to get to those that are Lord God Almighty hallelujah praise the name of the Lord so reaping a bountiful harvest mean that we must spend quality time we realize brothers and sisters that we are not reaping the maximum production in the church because the truth about it we are caught up with one holy or something can I say that again we are caught up with a whole lot of stuff. So even me, myself, brothers and sisters, I remember at one time before I left Jamaica, there were days I was doing sales. But because I wanted to take care of the family, I used to take a few days. And I used to go in at the hills and I go plant some potato or a plant, brothers and sisters, so, some string bean or something. Because, brothers and sisters, what I was looking for, I was looking to maximize, brothers and sisters, the resources. If the church, brothers and sisters, is going to reach the last. We must be able to maximize uh, that which Jesus Christ uh, has given to us and if we don't spend time with him. Lord God. 
We can't maximize anything. So if the church is going to reap, we must be compassionate. Anywhere Fabian St. Michael Mullins is something dangerous in the workplace. No man, I want to make you so happy. No music now, I'm playing him a dance, same way. Praise the name of the Lord. No music now, I'm playing there's a joy. And in face, praise the name of the Lord. Why? Because the joy of the Lord uh, is my strength. Uh, and if the church uh, can reach the world, brothers and sisters, we need to take up the donkey face. Uh, because the truth about it, some people, when them see us, them say, oh, oh, the one that looks so serious, so them no want to come in contact with us. Uh, but I'm calling back the church uh, to the place, brothers and sisters, where we become hospitable because if it is that we are not hospitable we cannot reach people Lord Jesus before you think me I preach stand up I'm gonna close praise the name of the Lord so according to David Jeremiah in an article dated August 27, 2019, he gave seven reasons, brothers and sisters, of an effective soul winner. Number one, he said, ask God to give you an evangelistic burden for others. So when you are going to read, brothers and sisters, you need to let God place some people on your heart and you take it one step at a time. But the truth about it, brothers and sisters, many of us hearts are far from God. So reach in the harvest, reach in the harvest, we need to be having a core group that we can work with. Where am I? I'm still watching the clock. Yesterday, brothers and sisters, we were here as the young people. We had a good time and then we got down a Mapen town, go race, came down there. Praise the name of the Lord. So I said, brothers and sisters, in this harvest, brothers and sisters, we have to tend for even come out of the comfort zone. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. I only know of brother Lindsay at the time, Adrian at the time that is doing linguis, linguistics, which is the different languages. We need to reach the place, church of the living God, where the assemblies of the first born need to become equipped with different translators so that we can go out and reach the people them. Somebody praise God. Secondly, brothers and sisters, he said, live a consecrated Christian life before the people. And if you go and live a consecrated Christian life before the people, if you reach a Canada, you still go and say God. If you reach a England, you still go and say God. If you reach a Barbados, you still go and say God. Because God not change. You might change location, but God not change. Lord God Almighty, somebody pray for me in the house. Praise the name of the Lord. And as we talk about live consecrated Christian life, we must live in obedience, brothers and sisters. Living in obedience means we walk by faith. I'm going down there. This next one he says, and this one, grab a hold of me. He said, build bridges to others. Lord God, let me talk two minutes. Pastor, may I watch the clock same way? He said, build bridges, brothers and sisters, to others. What that means, brothers and sisters, is that there comes a time where the church of the living God, we have to know how to extend one olive branch. We realize that so many times, some of us, we leave the shores of Jamaica and we burn down the road, we burn down the bridge, we throw a stone back away because men are turned back there. And that is what is happening in the church as well. We realize, brothers and sisters, that we burn our bridges, but it's no time, brothers and sisters, that we start to build some bridge that will let some people who think that they were unreachable will no rib know that they are reachable. Why are they reachable? Because God is an exclusive. Joseph God Lord God Almighty the next one all inclusive thank you he said learn the gospel so many times the same people that we may talk about when it comes on to Ramadan pastor a whole heap of them try to convert Mullins because them tell me say oh maybe believe to say Jesus is one of the prophets but about him I don't know God and then try to convert me. Now that me stand up on me too, look a good foot. And me a share one word of encouragement with you. You are going to tell me, say me a bully you. It is now time that the church of God in reaping are getting this harvest. We have to bully some people because some of them really don't know how A and B. They don't know their left and their right. But sometimes the church of the living God have to be forward right and tell them, say look your man. Nino Fadisia. Tap your soul. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 
So Romans, brothers and sisters, 3 verse 25. For all have sinned. So when we realize that all have sinned and all, all have come short of the glory of God, then is it no brothers and sisters, then we can be able now to start build different bridges. I'm closing with this point. He said, watch for opening to share the word of God. Watch for opening to share the word of God. Brothers and sisters, as I talk about watching for opening that you can, are platforms that you can share the word of God. When the young people decide to go down on Maypen yesterday, that was an avenue, brothers and sisters. Just before we went down there, I glanced on Facebook and I saw where I think they said the CEO, not CEO, I think some president or something of Jamalco was shot and killed. Down on me pain. Praise the name of the Lord. But brothers and sisters, in spite of that, brothers and sisters, we still saw the need, brothers and sisters, to go out there. While we were down there, brothers and sisters, I stormed the place and I pray for people. People were walking to the altar because this is what the people want. The people want the church, brothers and sisters, to be that place. Let me close this. If I don't close it, may I go stand up here. Praise the name of the Lord. So as I'm, I'm closing with this. I said that three times now. Close the Bible. If we are going to reap the harvest, brothers and sisters, and get involved. This morning while I was greeting, I spoke about the third class, the first class, and the second class, carrot. I could have able to talk like that because I've experienced it. If you are going to reach or, or, or produce and harvest, you have to be able to have an experience. You have to have an encounter, Sister Danik. And the fact that I do realize that some of the higgler, them bad and wicked, when they want to make up the weight of the thing, they use the second class or the third class, we say a first class, just forget the weight. But brothers and sisters, as children of the living God, we have to ensure that our integrity, it speaks for us wherever, whenever, or however, because at the end of the day, that same integrity is what is going to come back to judge you. I say to the church at this time, let us get involved. Forget about who don't like you. Forget about who is saying things about you. And what you do, it's no time that you spend your time and present yourself before God and God will show you where the harvest need to be reaped. I give myself away so you can use me and give myself away Lord I give myself away so you can use me my life is not my own to you I give myself, I give myself. Come to sing it again. My life is not my own. To you I belong. I give myself, give myself. As we close, I want to make an altar call. Thank you, Pastor Mullings. We're going back home. We want to make a commitment that when we go back home, yes, our lives will not be the same again. We will not drive the car, wind up the glass dark through the community. But we will be willing to witness. Can we sing that song one time, two more minutes, and then we invite our bishop to come up. After I pray, bishop is going to come. But I know persons here, you want to be trained at the college too. We want to invite you to come. Give myself away so you, let's all stand, can use me. I give myself Love away. Oh Lord. I give I myself away. away. Anybody want to make a commitment? Come. My life is not my own. To you I belong. I give myself. I give myself.
myself. To you. Is there somebody else? Is there somebody else? My life is not my own. To you. Somebody else to you. Father, you had one son and you gave him up. You invest him in the earth realm so that lost humanity can be saved. We thank you for those who are standing here, Father, in obedience, with the desire to serve, with the desire to be used. We pray that God, you'll set a mark upon them tonight. You will bless them, Father. That desire in them will burn. It will never go dead. It will never be out by the enemy. But God, it will catch upon them into the next phase of their lives. Pray that you'll use them, Father. Anoint them and use them for your glory and honor. We commit them to you tonight, Father. In Jesus' name. Everybody say, Amen. everybody say, Amen. everybody say, Amen. everybody say, Amen. Amen. God bless you. Please remember the North Coast School of Ministries. See us for the information. Amen. We take your number. We send information to you. God bless you. Thank you, Pastor Mullins. You need a whole week to preach. Bishop Cook. <laughs> Thank you. So let's put our hands together again for... Pastor Mullings and the staff members of the North Coast School of Ministries. Thank you, Bishop Cook. Thank you, Bishop Codlin. Can you give me at three or four more minutes, please? Yes. Um, we Let's put our hands together for Bishop Codlin and the members of the North Coast School of Ministries, of which I'm very much a part of what God Almighty is doing in our time. For we don't want the Lord to do anything and he doesn't do it with us. Us being apart. Today, brethren, I'm standing up before you for the final time of this great convention to say a big, big thank you firstly to every one of you who are sitting here. Can you clap your hands together, everybody? God bless you richly. I, I want to jump back at the top. And uh, I believe our God, our God, the eternal God, the triune God that has blessed us before we came here on Monday. The God who has helped us to pray and to fast and to wait before him. For this particular convention, I believe he must be given thanks first. So we want to lift up our hand and say, we thank you, Lord God. We thank you for blessing us the way you have blessed us in convention 2024. Give the Lord a clap offering, everybody. Thank him. Thank him thank him. Then of course we know our um, assistant overseer has to travel back and forth but he stood up throughout the week, played every part that he was called upon to, to play and we really want to thank God for him and his dear wife and Matthew and of course their daughter is at college but you know, they are all involved as a family. Put your hands together for Bishop Codlin and Lady. Then we also want to thank God for the host pastor, Reverend Philip Davidson and Sister June Davidson. And the entire membership of the Osborne Store Assembly. Can we give it up for them, please? 
They worked assiduously. We saw Damien. He was all over the place. And have holy talk behind it too. I wonder where he is. Always have some talk. We have Noel, the brother of Pastor David, sir. And there are so many others. When you see them on the compound, they were always moving about. Some help us to park properly that everybody else could occupy the premises. And so, so we really want to thank God for the members, the leader, Reverend Davidson, and the members at the Aspen Store Assembly. Give it up for them, our brother evangelist Kelly. All of the ushers, they work. Come on, let's let's give it up for them. God bless your husband's store. Thank you for allowing us to feel welcome. We see our brother um, over there just helping out. And we thank God for every one of you. All of the members here. Some of you, I came here last Saturday and you were already working. One of our young men was covering that pool. And they have done so much. But God bless you, and I know God is going to bless this, 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 this ministry. All right, we have the kitchen staff. What sumptuous meal. What, what lovely cooking. Evangelist Foster, Sister June is there, was there. All the members of the kitchen staff, the ladies who share the meal for us every day. Come on, give it up for them. No man, I want you to clap them at the last session. This we're doing, you know, until we reach the benediction. Then we also have choirs, different choirs every night. National choir. Our sister very leading that. Come on, we thank God for the choirs. We thank God for the musicians. Come on. Videographers at the back. Praise and worship leaders. Come on. God bless you, everyone. The leaders who led the prior meeting. I mean, Dr. Rose is here. I mean, our minister, Facey. Oh, um, Reverend um, Burke. Powerful um, prayer meeting that we have had. Those abroad. Come on, give it up for these wonderful people. We know our evangelist Burke started over in last week. And we want to thank you, Evangelist Burke, for the fasting and the prayers. God bless you and the team that work together. All the preachers, weren't they good? Weren't they anointed? Come on, the, the servants of God, they came with a message. The teachers, the presenters, oh, Mother Maris the other day, oh, uh, Brother Hastings, all of the presenters, they were exceptional. And we want to thank God for them. Come on, give it up for them. Auxiliary leaders, of oh, Pastor Slowly and the team, Sister Meg Morgan. Of course, our pastor squire is here, but we were able to do something in honoring the brothers. And so we want to thank God for these leaders. Sunday school, Sister Hazel did well. And just about all the auxiliaries and the team, let's put our hands together. We thank God, we thank God, we thank God. The servants of God, some of them are still here. And we thank God for all of you gentlemen. Some of you went Go, you came back. Give it up for them. District overseers. I know you're tired, but let's give it up for them, man. All the districts, the eight districts. Come on, give yourself a hand. District. We thank God for you, all the churches. I wouldn't bother to call the churches. Our sister, Ivan Asburn, we call on her about five or six times to do introduction because it's as most like you can give her now and she really likes to get it from two years. She has stood up and she did very well. Sister Asburn, we're just sending out thanks to you. Thanks for standing in the gap with us. God bless you. Our minister, Colum. You remember when he came and did the earthquake awareness? You weren't here. You didn't watch it. Minister Colum, his wife, sister Colum is a leader for the women's ministry. And she's doing a wonderful job. Both of them, God has been blessing them. All right? 
the finance team, there's a group of people, when we finish here, there's a group of people, they, may, they have been meeting in a room next door. And if anybody who ministers, if they are to get something, they have to check it. They have to, you know, put it in an envelope, write up a card. They have to check which church sending and whatever was everything. They were sometime behind the scenes. Bishop Rose, Sister Jean, Pastor Jean Ferran, Mother Craigie, Melanie, Sister Melanie, Pastor David, so Sister Learman, and others. They help to keep the figures and make sure everything. Give it up for them, man. They, they, they did well. Come on, Pastor Richards, young Pastor Richards, he's in that team doing so well. We had our song sheets, and weren't they looking beautiful? You know, answer strong. You never see the grains, the man is up on the front. All right, our brother um, Ricardo Bailey, Sister Coke, and Sister Craigie. You know, said so they worked on it. We didn't have much time left in the bishop, but we collected it Saturday. Remember, say Sunday, I, I Easter Sunday, and then we start Monday. And near, near we go, but we got through. And we want to celebrate our brother Bailey who worked out the design, and Sister Craigie who set up the format, and my own wife who work on it. Sometimes me see her on the computer. My eyes them are shut down, so me have to move and leave her. But she stay with it, and God. God Almighty bless this person. Come on, give it up for them. And then we have some people even today while we were going back and forth. Pastor, slowly, please report to um, Bishop Rosa. I see you walking like your service are going to start. Please. <laughs> no, I can't trouble him. You know, he's from my district. Don't try with him. No, go, they go try. All right, all right. But he's okay. He's a okay young pastor. All right, I was saying to you that when you go on the inside there and you're going in that area, whether the bathrooms on the right or left, there are, there, we have a crude in there. And these people, they just treat what they were doing with a certain level of importance. Unfortunately, I'm not seeing any of them inside. But I want to just commend, I want to let them know how grateful we are. I saw some while we were walking, they had maps, maps drying up the floor. They provided paper towels and they were saying, this one is available, that one. Come, let's give it up for the sanitation crew. They did well. The place was fresh. And we, you know, it was just amazing. We really amazing. And then we have the persons who... Any time you come up here and you say, all right, let's, let's collect the offering, they are up with their bucket ready. And some of them work as ushers. I'm seeing our brother, Evangelist Kelly, man, wear so many hats, yet him just move around. He, he, he's a guidance counselor of one of our nation's biggest school. He's a justice of the peace, and he preached the word well. And there are so many other things that this man has been doing and yet during this week I saw him taking out tables fixing up under the tent fixing up back coming up to, to take up the offering Sir Kelly bless you man God bless you really and all the crew the other sisters who are sitting on the I don't want to single out um, Kelly because you know we, 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 we but all the other ladies can you just come to the front of the door man all of you and let us let you know we really appreciate what you they are, they are all over but convey our thanks tell them we really appreciate what they did give it up for them please and there are some persons every now and then you were able to go on the outside and buy something cool and buy a biscuit, buy a bun and cheese. There were some people over there at a little place called the Tuck Shop. You know where we're talking? Yeah. Remember when we get hot and we need something to cool down. Some people was over there. I don't know if they check off yet, but they over one place over there. So near me Tuck Shop. I really want to thank God for the Tuck Shop crew. Can we give it up for them? And we want to thank God, our friend and brother. Reverend Bishop Desmond Harvey, 
the brother took the time out, came down, had a little difficulty um, finding here. But I know next year we might go just find it easy because they know where to find it. But we really thank God for your Rev. Took, taking the time out. And to just come and just, you know, minister timely word and, you know. So as me say, no, no difference. You know, we go, we just. <laughs> all right. And so we, we thank all the churches. You mentioned the district already. All the pastors, all the ministers, every deacon, every, every mother, every youth leader. Every person who took time out, God bless you, everyone. We thank God for you. We want to, we want to, and I'm hoping I haven't left off anybody. Oh, brother, Pastor Mullins is heading back home tomorrow. And as we seek to close tonight, we're going to just, just lift him up in our prayers. And um, um, we are seeing here that we are told that somebody is having a birthday today. That is um, um, Sister um, Tracy and Jones is telling us that mommy, where, where, where is mommy? I know she's a hard worker, I know. She's a hard, as when I saw her here and she was on her feet right around. She brought water to the pastors. She, okay, okay, well, well um, so where is mommy? Mommy standing there, lift up your hand, man, and we say, happy birthday. Happy birthday. God bless you. Come on, just wish her happy birthday, man, and say, God bless you. And we wish you many, many more. When she says, see, mommy, they're meeting her daughter that stand up her doorway. So God bless you, man. God bless you. Thank God. And then let me tell you, Virgin, let me tell you, I, my birthday is coming up in this month. So may I have a chop in my birthday to be kind of that way. May I have a in my birthday. So on the 17th of April, on the 17th of April, it will be happy birthday for me. So anyhow you are come, you better come with something from now. All right, but I, I crave your prayers. And on the 29th of April, my wife will be celebrating. So two of us are April born. All right, so remember us, remember us. And um, the Lord is leading me to a big number, and I'm looking forward to celebrating it. I'm also, I'll be heading out to, to Grenada um, later th this month. I'm already trying to make some contact. Um, some time ago, the Lord showed me myself getting involved in some ministry there. So I don't know anybody up there. But I want to honor what the Lord has showed me. And so I'm going to ask you to pray for me. And once the, fruit is fru once the place is fruitful, I will come back and I will give a report. And I will gather up a group of you. Some for cook, some for pray, some for the, you know, a lead some service or something. So pray that the trip will be a fruitful one. And that there will be result from it. Amen, everybody. Amen. Come on, say amen, everybody. Amen. So I'm going to seek your prayer. I'm going to ask you to pray that I'll be able to go and come back safely. So God bless you. And um, right now we're going to use a verse or so from Brightly Beams, our Father's mercy. Um, Pastor Thomas. You can't give us a last prayer. You can't send us off with a prayer because you sing one song today and you make two turn and you just go back and sit down. And so, and if you can't give me one prayer before we leave, but 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 I'm gonna ask um, Reverend Thomas to pray for us. And as I said, Reverend Mullins will be heading back to Canada tomorrow, and you heard about the eclipse that will be taking care of my good friend. I'm heading up to, but I think they will reach before the eclipse and, and, and after. So we want to just trust God. Some schools up so will not be um, in session. So it will be. So you can come up, mother. Brightly beams our Amen. Father's mercy from his light. House evermore, 
but to us. Can you stand with me everywhere? He gives. Is it too high? After lights along the shore. Let the Lord. Hallelujah. Send a gleam across the way. Some poor fit in struggling seamen. You be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Master, our Father, who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Mm. Thy will be done. Father divine, we hail you this hour. We praise and adore your majestic name. Thank you, Lord, for who you are. Yes, you are the Savior of the world. And so we give you thanks. Thank you, Lord, you have been with us. My God, you this convention. This is the last hawa of the peace. Holy Ghost from glory. I pray, Holy God, you put your hand upon us. In a special way. Lord. We hear your word. We realize that we are clean. Through the word. Which was spoken unto us. Lord sometimes we hear your word. But we do not live your word. My God. My God. My God. When we live here. Get back to our several aboards. Grant got in our house. La Massa Catalama High Revival Fire will start to burn. Oh Jesus, we are depending on you. Yes, Thank yes, you, God. Yes, yes. We give you thanks. We give you praise. Hallelujah. And we give you honor. Yes. We thank you. You are beautiful for situation. So we bless your great name. Thank you, Lord, for Pastor Mullins. My God who preached your word in this very last session. My God. A young man whom you have called. I pray that your hand will be upon him for good. And that he will continue to preach as you bid him to. We'll be leaving here. Maybe going back to his home. My God, I understand. He'll be traveling tomorrow. Mighty God of Daniel. Oh, pray God. that you will be with him. Yes. Whatever your port. Be with him to the airport. And as he shall go in that man-made bird. Kalama Hunda. Be in the here. In the name of Jesus. My God. God, we ask for a safe flight. My God, sometimes turbulence upon turbulence. We come up against turbulence. In the name of Jesus. And grant that your child will reach back. Back to Canada. To his family and to the saints over there. In the name of Jesus. Father. I am depending on you. Yes. Thank you for a safe trip. In Jesus holy name. My God and every one of us here. Will be going back home. La Masakata. Be on the road. Be the unseen driver. Holy Ghost and glory. We are depending on you my God. And those of us that shall be riding or walking. Kalama Sandalama High. Be with us, we pray, in the name of Jesus. Father, 
I know we can depend on you for everything. Lord, is there anything too hard for you? Nothing is too hard for you. My God, you know about your man servant, our overseer, general overseer, rice and cook. Have a plan, my God. Let your will be done. When the time comes, journey with him, we pray. In the name of Jesus, cover him, cover, 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 cover. Amen, sir. My God, provide friends. Sometimes when you're going to a hearer, you don't know anybody. But God, you are God. You sit high and you look low. Provide friends for him. Oh, God, he's been going on business for you. So I pray, Lord, you'll take him up in your hands and carry him on eagle's wings. Father, we give you thanks. Somebody say, oh, I give thanks. That's your word. Oh, I give thanks unto the Lord. Hey, you saw. For he is good. For his mercies endure it forever. Not for a day, but your mercies endure it forever. So we praise your majestic name. Cover us right now. Cover, cover, cover. cover. The angel of the Lord. Encamp it round about them that fear him. And deliver them. Father, we thank you. We thank you. For all that you mean to us. Help us to keep our hearts and minds stayed in thee. Grand, whenever we meet again. Whether here or there. It will be a time of refreshing. These mercies we ask in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. and amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Mother. Father, we lift Pastor Harvey, Bishop Harvey. We lift him. And we pray that he too will come under your covering. Because you promised to preserve us in our going out and in our coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. For the sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. For the Lord shall be the shade upon thy right hand. The Lord shall be thy keeper. I deliver your son into your hand afresh that traveling, journeying mercies will attend to him and he will be taken home safely as well. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Can you just wave your hand and say thank you, Lord, for your goodness? Come on. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness. Having received tremendous, tremendous, tremendous blessings from our God, and with the authority vested in me as general overseer, I declare convention 2024 closed, ended in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Blessed Holy Ghost. God bless you everyone. Greet somebody and have a safe trip home. Just one clarification brothers and sisters. Just one clarification. You don't have to be a bright, bright, bright student person to enter this.